once thought to not only control hot flashes, but also protect women against other diseases. But a new study is confirming that hormone replacement therapy is much more harmful than good. Thanks for watching 39 News at 5 in HD. I'm Mia Gradney. Millions of women have taken hormone replacement therapy to treat those symptoms associated with menopause. But new results are showing those women are twice as likely to die from breast cancer. 39's Katisha Cosley is here now with more on this study. Katisha, what are doctors advising women to do at this point? Plain and simple, Mia, don't take it. Now that said, though, there are some women that absolutely have to. And in that case, doctors I spoke with say it is OK, but with certain stipulations. It's no surprise that Dr. Philip Salem, director of cancer research at St. Luke's Hospital, has closely followed this study from the Women's Health Initiative on Hormone Replacement Therapy, or HRT, specifically the combination of estrogen and progestin from its conception back in 1997. This study was stopped in the year 2002, three years before the scheduled time. At that point, he says it was clear there was a link between HRT and breast cancer. That's also the time he says he stopped prescribing it to his patients. There will remain a small category of women who will not benefit except from hormone replacement therapy. In these women, the therapy may be given, but it should be given at the lowest dose for the shortest period of time. Now, 11 years later, Dr. Salem says they're learning even more than they knew back then, and the news is alarming. We now know that these breast cancers present with more advanced disease, and two, that the death rates, more deadly death rates, and this group is higher. This treatment the medical community once thought actually made women healthier really puts them at greater risk for not only breast cancer, but heart attacks, stroke, and clots in the lungs. I really felt with a familiar thing happening from grandmother to aunt to mom to sister, that was my trend. Deborah Sand started connecting the dots years before it was proven and opted against HRT, instead using alternative treatments to get her through. She's devoted much of her life to learning and educating others about cancer and prevention, even becoming a nurse. It's a monstrous disease that has attacked nearly every woman in her immediate family. But Juan, if she has anything to do with it, never touches her daughter. I'm still trying to figure out how we're going to protect her. She's really too young to do mammograms. She's too young to do MRIs. But that's how I found mine. Now, these findings only apply to estrogen plus progestin or combined hormone therapy, not estrogen alone. Dr. Salem says doctors, some of them may still be using this combination, and you should ask them for those alternative treatments. Katisha Consley, 39 News.